I can't keep up like this this much longer. I'm gonna have to find somewhere to sleep. I, I guess this place was abandoned after the war. So close to the Mason-Dixon line, I'm sure whatever side they were on had something going on. It's not a great hiding place, grudges and all. Mm -hmm. Well, this place is truly a mess, but they left some bread and I have, I have ham, so breakfast it is. Who is that? Who's there? How dare you enter my house? I'm getting my gun. Ow! Oh, oh that can't be good. Um. Come here! Show yourself! Please. Please come here. I need help. Oh, oh my goodness. Are you, are you okay? Let's sit you up. Okay. There you go. Um. What's, what's your name? It's Officer John Lovingood. Blue coat. You must be a Union soldier then. Ex-soldier. Why? Do you have a problem with that? <laughs> no. What? No. Um, hmm. The Union Army is amazing. And, um... It was a great end to an awful war. Yeah, this is so great. Lying on the floor for a week, alone. Why have you been lying on the floor for a week? I mean, I get being lazy and not wanting to get up in the morning, but a week is a bit much. Don't you think? You know, balance isn't really my strong suit. It, yeah, yes, well, uh, <clears throat> I see that now. Sorry. Do you have any crutches? I have a wheelchair, it's somewhere over there. A wheelchair? You have a good leg. Why are you using a wheelchair? Maybe if you had crutches, you'd have an easier time getting things without falling. Oh, hearty har har. At least I'm not breaking into other people's houses. Wow. Such a cheerful person. Sure, you were an absolute delight on base. I like my wheelchair now. I knew that. Um, <clears throat> everything here is so filthy and covered in dust. I am surprised that you have not caught sick and died. I'm surprised you haven't been arrested. I would say that I'm surprised that you don't have a wife but I'm sure they could smell you and coming into town and they turned tail and ran. I'm not afraid to hit a woman. I'm not afraid to hit a man. Lord, just get me my wheelchair. I knew that. Well, you shouldn't be living here by yourself. This house is a mess. Um, I thought that it was abandoned. You should not be here all by yourself. You clearly cannot take care of yourself. A man like you should not be alone, especially if he cannot take care of himself. What were you gonna do if I hadn't shown up? Were you gonna rot away on the floor? I can take care of myself, thank you very much. 
Yeah, well, I can see you're doing just fine. I survived a war, Missy. I'm sure I can take care of my own house. Well, I can't in good nature let you live here by yourself. My mama taught me basic human decency and to take care of people who can't take care of themselves. I'm not some princess who needs saving. You know, my mama taught me another thing. What? How to make the best clam, clam chowder on God's green earth. You know, clam chowder was always my favorite. Well, I would make you some, but you don't need my help. Wednesdays. What was that? <coughs> you can stay. I'm sorry, sir. I can't hear you. You know how it is. You get older and things get harder and harder to hear. You can stay. Sounds perfect. I definitely didn't forget my line halfway through. <laughs> okay, yep. She's a grayback. A confederate. So, an ex confederate, huh? You're not gonna go wrecking my house and stealing my things now that you've got nothing, right? Oh, no, no, of course not. Um, the, well, you see... You know, now that I think about it, I haven't seen a confederate in quite some while. What are you doing here, out of all of the houses in the south? Um, well, well I thought this far, and... You knew that I'm crippled, maybe? You knew that my legs... Don't, doesn't work, my leg doesn't work, and that I'd be an easy target for your ex-confederate plantation-owning plans for God knows what? Um, first off, I owned a farm. Second, I came here to do no such thing. I don't trust you, you hear? You may have let me get back into my chair, but don't think for one second that I need you. I would have gotten back in it without you. I may not be able to walk on my own, but that does not mean I still can't fight. I was a Union soldier in the war. Don't think for one moment that just because you're a pretty lady that I've let my guard down. I know a lot about... Sir, could you please... Just stop talking and just let me answer your questions and explain. Thank you. First of all, I will not be stealing or wrecking anything. Well, that vase does look kind of pretty. <laughs> um, anyways. After my farm was taken from me, I had to find somewhere else to live. And so I packed up some of my belongings, and I left. Hard to say, honestly, but at least a week. And that's why I came here, because 
I couldn't keep going. And if I'm being honest, I did not think that anybody lived here. Yeah, well, I try to make it seem un uninviting on purpose so people don't stop by, but that failed, clearly. <laughs> oh, please, you don't mean that. Why wouldn't you want to surround yourself with people? That's, that's not important. Just finish your story. Okay. Um. Okay. Um, I simply came here because I needed a place to stay. I, I mean, I have no reason to. Um, I ran a farm. I had no part in the war. I was just trying to keep my farm going. And after my dad died, I had no help from anyone. No, um, my, my mother passed away, giving birth to me, and I was their firstborn, so no siblings either. Oh, Alice, I had no idea. Well, you didn't give me a chance to explain myself. That, that farm was my everything. And it was the last bit of family that I had. And when it was taken from me, I had nothing left. And so, instead of wallowing in self-pity and despair, I picked myself up and I went forward on to the next place that I needed to stay. And that's what brought me here. <laughs> um, I hope I answered your questions. Um, your tea is cold. I'll get you. I'll get you a new one. I swear, if it's that jumpy little postman again. Well, howdy there, John, and, uh, uh you're, you're not John? No, no, I'm not. I feel like the dress should have clued you in. My apologies, ma'am. I'm only used to seeing John here. Or, God forbid, Janice. Anyways, glad John's already has someone taking care of him. That man needed it. Have you seen his house? John, um, that postman, he mentioned someone named Janice. Um, name and ring any bells? Unfortunately, Janice is, was my best friend, Thomas Busby's wife. Was? What happened? War. Uh, we served in the 15th West Virginia Infantry, and he gave his life to save this country. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be. Janice was more than thrilled to hear that he was gone and started making advancements on me. So that's why I'm out here, to avoid all that. Can I confess something? Go for it.
can't make clam chowder. What? When I when I came here, I said that I could make clam chowder, but I can't. Um, I just um, said what sounded like a northern thing. Clam chowder was the most northern thing I could come up, up with. <laughs> don't, don't answer it. Ignore it. Do you think it's- Shh. Oh, John, honey, I know you're in there. Mrs. Busby, what are you doing here? Firstly, I'm not Mrs. Bugsby anymore, although I could be Mrs. Loving Good if you just allow it. Oh, I... Busby? Like Thomas Busby. And Janice Busby. Yes, Thomas, my late husband. Although I don't know why a southerner would know that name. What are you even doing here, Miss... Uh... Alice. My name is Alice Lee. And I've been helping my, um... Friend. Yeah. Um... And you are? I'm Janice. Alice, I'm sure you have been quite the little helper, but unfortunately you'll just have to run along now and find another family to wreck. This is my home. This isn't your home, Janice, and we aren't a family. Thomas would be ashamed by you. Thomas doesn't matter, because he's dead. And I didn't even care for him. It was you I always wanted, John, and you know it. No, no, you know what? If you want to be my caretaker, at least know how to make good pasta. Like, oh my gosh, you use those stupid pasta noodles with no ridges, and the, the, the noodles, like, they don't even stick to the sauce. They don't even stick to the sauce, so when you eat it, it just tastes like disappointment. It's disgusting, Janice. It's gross. Like, if you're gonna make pasta, at least make mac and cheese or something. Um, well. Listen, listen, okay? I'm sure that you both could go all night, and so I'm gonna cut it short. Janice, clearly nobody wants you here. I think it's time for you to leave. And I am here to help and to care. And truly, I don't think you're right for that job. You know, John, I don't think your head is screwed on just right. Clearly, you are unable to make your own decisions if you've let a southerner into your home. I think we'd all be better off if I were to be your caretaker. Don't you think? I have money. You wouldn't have to live in this absolute dump. How is the shack even still standing? Last warning. Get out. Fine. Sorry, John. You've lost your chance. Go. Okay, fine. I'm going. I'm going. Jeez. I'm so sorry about her. You think she'll be back? Probably not. I think you scared her off with a gun. Good. My night has seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is camping.
Bring out the windy trail and breaks a brand by storm. He has loosed the fateful lightning of his terrible swift sword. His troop is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. His troop is marching on. I have seen him in the watchfires of a hundred serpent camps. They have killed him in an altar in the evening dues and dance. I can read his righteous sentence by the dim and clear.